Hey everyone. So we're back. So the next step in this SUNY mod, what we're going to do is we're going to take this bezel. Uh, we're going to remove it like so. You got to take the screws out. You got to take the screws out of it. There are four screws that are holding in the, the plexi for any arcade one up. Some arcade one ups, the bigger ones like those in the corner, have more screws. But in order to remove the plexi, you just remove the screws. Plexi comes off, and then the monitor is exposed. Uh, we're gonna have to clean this off and clean this off here too but the goal is to take this monitor right here and this is a 10.1 inch monitor get this out of the bag we're going to remove it and we're going to place it in here except we're going to take it out of its case itself too and then we're going to place it in here okay this isn't going to be vertical if it was vertical, we wouldn't even need to take it out. Uh, this is going to be a horizontal mod. So, looks like that's upside down too. So it's going to go this way. But we're going to take it out. And then we're going to measure and align it. Or we're going to measure and trace on the back of this. And then we're going to use our Dremel tool with a saw. Like so. And we're going to then cut it. Uh, I'm going to use a Dremel because if I use my... Or at least I'm going to try to use a Dremel. If the Dremel don't work, I'll use my uh, my jigsaw if needed. But so let me get this apart. We'll come back once I get this out. It looks like it's just taped in right now. Uh, I, it's going to be my first time taking one of these off too. So I've never taken one of these off before. Um, so it looks like it's just kind of taped in here. Yeah, it is it's just taped in here. There it goes. Actually, I don't even have to come back. I'm just pushing on the back. Bam. goes it's out put that off to the side because that can be reused for something else there you go so let me get this all cleaned off and then we're also going to do we're also going to uh, try to get uh, the graphic off this too uh, with some paint thinner solution so that we can reuse this if we can't reuse this I have plexi behind a couple of those one ups over there then we can cut to the shape and then we can just use that plexi as a backup if needed um, but we still want to use what we have so we don't have to buy new parts. That's the whole point of budget building and modifying too. So let me get this apart and then we'll measure up and then we'll get this out of here and then we'll be back. All right guys, we're back. Uh, we got the new monitor removed uh, from its old housing. So we took this apart, little housing came off it and then the rest of it's sitting right here. This is the HDMI controller board, along with uh, the power buttons and the volume buttons for the, for the speakers, or for the, for the TV too. The only thing we're gonna be using, obviously, is the power button. Uh, this is getting up high, so the sound comes directly from the Pi. We're not gonna need, need these little speakers to give off sound. Uh, and we also have more speakers and a little subwoofer that we're gonna end up using too. Um, so I got this removed. Uh, so now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to uh, place this on the back and line it up as best as you can. And it's okay if the holes, because the holes for the monitor mount are going to be covered, we'll just make new ones. Um, so, and then all you do, if you so you line it up, obviously, like the way that it is, and then you trace it. You can thank Bobby Vu for this too. Bobby Vu has done this with many monitors. This is how he does his 20 inch monitor uh, mods too. So we're doing a little 10 inch mod instead. And remember, the goal is to use what you have. So I'm just gonna line this up evenly. Oops. Make sure it's good to go. And then you just trace. That's it. There's your stencil. So we're going to get this. So the next thing that we're going to do now is we're going to get my horseshoe set up here. I'm going to lay down a piece of wood. We're going to get the Dremel all connected because the Dremel's electric. And then we're going to use uh, the Dremel to cut this. I'm thinking, do I want to use my Dremel or do I want to use my jig? Uh, we're going to start with the Dremel at least and see how it goes. Uh, if the Dremel's not doing a good job, then we will move over to the jigsaw. Simple as that. 
Okay, so we're back. We're ready to cut. Um, always safety first. Make sure you have your safety glasses on, obviously, when you're going to do this. You can either hold this down with your hand or you can clamp it down. It's up to you. I'm going to hold it with my hand because I trust myself. Um, I usually start off on low speeds anyways. So you got to start off and you're going to start cutting it. I always cut a little bit on the inside. Probably want to go at a higher speed. You want to let the Dremel do the work. We're gonna use a jigsaw instead. <laughs> that is not working out the way that I wanted it to. You can see that the, the Dremel was trying to fly off my hand a few times too. So. Let's use a jig. Uh, how do we want to do this? We want to come in this way with it and go in and cut. side. There we go. We're going to cut down the center. I don't want to flip it over because we don't 
don't have it on the other side. Um, you just drill a hole. Get in there with a hole. Now we're just going to shave a little bit off on the inside, sand it down a little bit just to smooth it out, and uh, I'm going to use that with the Dremel tool. I'm going to switch positions right or switch tools right now. We'll come back and I'll show you how to sand it down a little bit. All right, we're back. So all we do is just switch the bits on the sanding on the uh, the Dremel for the sanding tool. We're just going to sand the inside of this out. She fits inside.
looks like just a little bit on the top we need to sand down up here and then we're going to get her inside so the top up here we need to sand down We can just wipe it off in a little bit when we're done. Let's see if we can get her in. Almost. In that top corner right here. We just need to sand in a little bit more. She's in. Probably want to do just a little bit more because the screen is bending a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit more. On this top corner right here again. And we should be nice and snug in there. how it's going to look because don't forget it's going to uh, be covered up with tape and it's going to be covered up with the plexi so you just want to get her in there is what you want to do everything else can be covered and she's in Yep, she's in. Uh, we still want to do a little bit more in this top corner right here. This corner. Just a little. and snug she's flat in there you go so we're going to put black tape on each side over here uh, which is going to cover all this up and it's not going to be seen and then the plexi is going to cover up the rest of it along with um, the graphic too so we'll just get this out get this all cleaned up uh, the next part of the video we're going to show you how to do and take off the plexi or take off the graphic on the bezel Oh, that's already on there with some paint remover. All right, guys. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get this. We get the. We're gonna get the graphic off this. This is painted on. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and use this stuff called Goof Off. Uh, it's a paint remover. I've used it before, and we're just going to simply apply it. Be very generous with it if you want to. And it's going to eat away at it and we're going to let it sit and we're going to let it dry and we're going to let it eat away at it and then we're going to scrape all this stuff off
Hey guys, we're back. So it's been about 24 hours since I applied my goop off stuff. This stuff right here called goop off. Uh, I've used this before to take paint off of uh, decks for the NBA Jam. The, uh, one, a couple of the NBA Jams, I think the Best Buy one. Uh, the Plexi has the graphic painted onto it. Uh, I did a mod and I needed to remove that, uh, the paint on it because it was a graphic mod and it wouldn't have looked right if I would have left the NBA Jam graphics on it, obviously. So I tried using this on this, and it did nothing. Didn't take it off, didn't even, it didn't even harm it or affect it or do anything to it. You know, I mean, this stuff, usually it bubbles up and then you can just wipe it right off and you're good to go. Uh, so that did not work. So I reached out to um, Mr. Profit and I talked to him and I'm like, hey, you know, do you know how or have any idea how uh, the graphic on a bezel can come off? Uh, and he said, uh, you don't. Um, basically, if you try to do it, you can get it off, but you're going to ruin the plexi before you get the paint off. So instead of ruining this plexi, I decided not to do that. And the backup plan was to just make a plexi. So a cool thing is if you go to Lowe's, Lowe's will cut your plexi for you as long as you have straight cuts. This is a square. Obviously, it's going to be straight cuts because it's 90 degrees on each side. Uh, so I took it to Lowe's and bought a piece of plexi and had them cut it. Perfect. Perfect. So all we got to do is just drill the screw holes in here. And then we have to cut the graphic for the plexi, which I have underneath these two boxes right here. Um, and that's going to uh, flatten it out a little bit because you know it's rolled up in uh, uh, a tube so uh, We're just gonna flatten out the graphic right now and let that sit probably until tomorrow And then we're gonna go ahead and I'm going to show you guys how to uh, cut out the center of the graphic uh, correctly Because the graphic is one whole piece. I asked Mista to send me one whole piece and not do a center on it um, other graphic places do things like that, like Arcade Graphics, I think Gulf Coast Customs does that. But if you ask them not to do that, you know, they'll, they'll give you, they just print the whole color, whole sheet for you. So, um, so next part of the video will be showing you how to measure it out for the new uh, monitor, and then I'll show you how to cut it. So, we'll see you, we'll be back. All right, guys, so we're back. So now we're going to cut or we're going to trace out um, uh, the bezel to cut out for the monitor. All right, and this is the part that's extremely tricky because you only get one shot at this. So what I did was I'm placing the old bezel on my table over here, taking the new graphic, and I'm laying it out to the way to where I make sure that I have some bleed on this. All right, I'm going to line it up directly at the top, just like this but there's bleed on each side and there's bleed on the bottom. If I turn it this way, I don't have bleed, right? So I have a little, but not the same if I turn it the other way. So the correct way to do it is this way. So we're gonna line this up here at the top. You know what, we can take some tape and we can tape it on there too. Uh, that's a good idea that I literally just thought of. Where is my bath that I have tape in? Here we go. Got some painter's tape. So let's take a piece, a couple pieces of painter's tape and let's tape this to the top so it's nice and even and it's not going to move. So let's go into the center, line this up so that it's good to go. There we go. One piece and do a couple pieces on the top. Do the edges. Do the bottom because we have bleed, right? So this is good to go right here, just like this. So 
So we'll leave that just like that. And then we're going to take this. Now I know, if you look at it, you know, it's got some funky pieces going on here. We're gonna measure this and we're gonna do this twice. So we're going to take this and we're gonna line it up. Perfectly. And then we're gonna tape again. It. And we're going to do that again on the other side, line it up, and then we're going to tape it. There we go. All right. So now that she's on, just take your pencil and trace, right? So now you got the center of it, but that's not going to be the exact cut that you're going to do because you're going to lay the monitor back on it. So let's take a piece of tape off. Now you grab your monitor. Let's lay the monitor on the inside. Line it up as good as we can at the top. So that we know where our cuts are gonna be. No, trace it out. And there we go. Now we have our cuts. So it is almost exactly the same as it's supposed to be. But when you cut this, so we have the inside, right? So when we cut this, we're going to cut along the inside of the perimeter, not along the actual edge of it. And the reason why you're doing that is because you want the bezel to go a little bit over the monitor because there's these black pieces over here too that is going to be covered up. So you want to go a little bit on the in so you want to go on the inside so that the monitor and some of these little pieces are covered up real nice. Even though it's going to have black tape on it too, uh, we're going to use black tape to hold in the monitor on this. So why don't we give it a cut and we can use a straight edge we can use a piece of flexi for a straight edge I need my tool for cutting grab your razor and your straight edge and you're going to need a surface so we're going to remove this because we're not going to cut that, because if we cut through that, we're going to cut into this, and we don't want to do that. We'll take that plastic, we're going to tape off later. So we can use the box. Use the box as your surface. And we can use this as our cut. And like I said, we're going to go a little bit on the inside. Try to make the cut as good as we can. You want this razor too, by the way. You don't want to use one of those X-Acto knives or uh, a normal razor that you would like cut carpet with. You want a nice thin razor so that you can, um, when you can actually cut the graphic off, when you do the trimming down, man, this cuts it like butter. So. Down to the 
man, duh. I am an idiot. Don't forget, whatever excess you have when you actually put this on too, you can trim it off. Take your time. You're never in a rush. Ever. go your center is cut out for your bezel don't worry about see how that piece is a little bit longer than this side but this is actually thinner it's perfectly fine because when you play lay it on your plexi you're going to have your bleed and you're going to be able to align it you now this is also why we use the wet method so we have a little bit of trim on the inside perfectly fine a little bit of trim on the top this is perfect so this is going to come out really nice when we put this on and look as you put it on, it's going to cover up the inside of this too. So, uh, next part of the video will be when we finish up. We're going to do the um, we got to do the holes in the plexi next, and then we have to lay the graphic on the plexi too. So, but we can't lay the graphic on the plexi until we lay it in here. So, and then we'll get the monitor in too. So, we'll come back. We'll be back in another part of this video in a second. All right, guys, we're back. So what we want to do now is we want to put the screen inside here. I'm going to clean this off a little bit. I've got fingerprints all over it. We will reclean it off again uh, after I put it inside here. So what we want to do is we want to put this inside here. So let's get this in here and we're going to use black tape to also help hold it in place too. Okay. So get the screen in as best as you can and as evenly as possible. That looks to be about good. And now you take black duct tape, okay? So sorry if my arms are in the way a little bit here. I'm doing the best I can with my camera. So we're take black duct tape. That looks to be good. film off obviously then we're going to line it up right here at the top because we want that to hold the screen in place right there then we're going to do the same thing on the bottom. This 
line it up as best as you can. And if you remember, when I took this off, the tape was just holding this in place in the first place. So, by taping it back on, you're not doing any dissatisfaction to it at all. And the tape will hold it in place, too. You're going to tape all four sides. Obviously, we don't need that big of a piece of the tape on the other side. But we're going to tape all four sides together. go. There you go. Now let's tape the back too. So that she holds in place. I'm only going to do a piece right here. I'm going to leave that one off. Hopefully you can see that because obviously I can't tell what you guys are what I'm recording right now and how it's recording. Then you're on, and there is your tenon screen mod. Now, let's hope, I'm pretty sure that this is the right side up, but we're going to test this too with a Pi 3. So that'll be in another part of a video. But now, the last thing we have to do for this bezel is we have to align up the holes for the screws prior to putting the graphic on. And that's going to be pretty easy. So let's move that up. Let's bring our plexi over here. Make sure she's lined up correctly. And I use a black marker for this. Oops, whoops. Sorry about that. Let's make sure the camera's readjusted. Okay. Kick in with my foot. This is super easy. Line up your plexi. Take your black marker. Mark your holes, okay? There you go. <clears throat> we are going to use a drill for this. We have to drill that hole open. Um, so let me get my piece, let me get a piece of wood to put behind it. So now what kind of bit am I going to use? Well, I'm going to use a sinker bit that I have that I got from Home Depot because I'm not sure where my other little drill bits are. Um, but I would suggest also using the drill bit, a normal drill bit too. So this is just a normal sinker bit. 
comes in a pack at Home Depot. I think it's like 20 bucks for the pack for Ryobi. But when you're drilling this, you have to go slow. You can't just zip through it because you're going to shatter the plexi or crack it if you zip it. So you need to go very slow when you do this because the plexi, the plexi is gonna lift. So let's go slow. There we go. And our hole's in. Now we do the same thing on the other side. Go slow. Like I said, the plexi will lift. See how it's moving around. There you go. And then you have your holes drilled. Now we want to make sure that the screw will fit in there. Otherwise, we're going to have to do a larger hole. So these were the screws, the black ones. A little bit of a fight to get it in, but as you can see, <laughs> it was screwed right into the other side. So, screws fit, good to go. I'm only using the sinker bit because I don't know where my other bits are right now. So, obviously, use what you got, but when you're screwing into the plexi like this, you have to go slow. I can't stress that enough. You have to go slow, man. If you go fast, it is not going to work out the way you want it to at all. So, next thing we got to do is we got to put the graphic on. We'll get to that part in a second. We'll come back. Video's getting long. Okay guys, so we're back. So the next thing you wanna do is we're gonna to wanna to put the graphic on. So I have this laid on top of here. And we're going to spray this down. And we're gonna take this off. Now these graphics, these bezels, man, these are, these are tricky. All right, they're a little tricky at least. So, we're gonna take this off, unpeel it, go very slow with unpeeling. Some people also do the half and half method on these too. Um, the thing is though, is that like I said before, this is a small one. So because it's so small, we don't have to do the half and half graphic on it. We can lay it on. And remember you're using the wet method because you are going to be adjusting it. that there, we have that there. You want to get it as perfect as possible. We're going to have some bleed, obviously, from the tape. The sides are covered, top is covered, bottom is covered. So we have it on. I probably could have cut a little bit lower when I was cutting it, but that's okay. During gameplay, you're not even going to notice it. Oh, it slid a little bit. We could always go down and leave the bottom one there like that. Like I said, it's not going to take anything away from gameplay. And where is my squeegee? You got your squeegee. Squeegee everything out. Okay, if it squirts around, no big deal. The best part is we can take this off this part now, move this out of the way, and we 
ていうのもあるね。bezel is one of the trickiest because I've noticed with the bezels you can get the most bubbles from it. Obviously you don't want bubbles and that's also why you let it dry for 24 hours too before you cut it. And that's it guys, that'll be the last part of this video. You can go ahead and clean up some of that access Windex that you got going on. That's it. There you go. I cannot stress enough that you need one of these. So I was trying to do this with a regular squeegee at one point before, and it was making life a lot difficult than what it, more, than what it should have been. Oh, excuse me. So that's it, guys. That'll finish up for this part of the video. Uh, the next video will be uh, putting everything else back together and then trimming the graphic up, too, um, and then placing things back together. We still have to do the speaker mod. Um, I will do another video for the speaker mod, too, um, but then we'll also do another video for the trim, also. So... Stay tuned for, I believe this is part two, so we'll stay tuned for part three.